Aotearoa's Māori culture makes us unique, but how much te reo does your Kiwi kid know? It's Māori Language Week. Te wiki o te reo Māori. So today on Anmam Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking about the benefits of teaching your youngster te reo. Welcome mum and daughter, Dr Rosemary Lyons and Jenny Chapman. Good morning to you both. Morena. Morena. Lovely to have you here. Rosemary, let's start with you. You're a psychologist. So tell us about this important stage of life. Well, the first three years, of a child's life, so important for brain development. So the child's brain grows the most it ever does in the whole life. So it needs lots and lots of stimulation and experiences. Mm. So lots of fun too with the parent, but with communication, lots of eye to eye contact, and that's where the child's really engaged with what's going on. So talking and you know adding in some signs really helps. It's just the fun, so you can go, you know, oh, here's the dog, or here's the kuri, right. you know, and the fish or the ika and the child gets really engaged and it turns into fun and just really helps brain development. Yeah, and kids at that age are just phenomenal with languages mm -hmm. too. I know, Jenny, you're a mum of five. Yeah. Uh, and also, which are, <laughs> congratulations, I just want to say that first Thank off. Thank you. Uh, also a primary school teacher. Yeah. Why is teaching all three official languages to our children important to you? Well, we're so fortunate in New Zealand to have our three official languages. Mm. and. I believe you, you can't separate out culture and language. So as soon as you start teaching te reo Māori and New Zealand Sign Language to your children, you're giving them a window into those cultures and just giving them a taste of it will start to open their world and it also acknowledges our cultures and acknowledging um, tikanga Māori, uh, Māori culture, starts with introducing the language. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So as Pākehā, why do you think Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori should be celebrated? Well, like the, um, the theme of Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori this year is Kia Kaha Te Reo, which yeah. is let's make our language strong. And um, I think as, as Pākehā, it is our responsibility too to be a part of that and to acknowledge this, this taonga, this treasure that we have. And the best way that we can acknowledge that is by sharing it with our tamariki, with our next generation. Mm. Yeah. And by practising and yeah. just giving mm. it a go. I Absolutely. think that's the thing is that people yeah. seem to be better at giving things a go now. Mm. Uh, also, you've, you've got books that are in Te Reo and also New Zealand Sign Language. Yeah, 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 so yeah. why did you decide to write them? Well, I went, when I've uh, had my fourth child, who's now um, nearly three, um, I went looking for resources that had um, Te Reo and New Zealand Sign Language in them, and there was nothing really for little people. Everything seemed to be textbooks and seemed really hard, and who's got time for that as a mum of seems like thousands of children. So <laughs> I just wanted something really simple. And I thought there should be first words and you know we can just start with first words. So I thought if we if we put the three languages together, so we've got Kiwi. Right. <laughs> yeah. So this is so how do we do Kiwi? So it's just like Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah, so you do the beak. And it's something that Whenever people pick up the book, they go, yeah. well, I can do that, and they practice the te reo as well. Oh, cat, do cat for me. So ngeru is cat, ngeru. Ngeru. Yeah. And so every time people pick up the book, they do the same thing. They pick it up and they're like, oh, kiri, ngeru, and um, it's just accessible yeah. because it's it's a board book, it's a children's picture book. So everyone goes, well, I can do that. If a yeah. child can do that, I can do that. That's really yeah. good fun. Yeah. Now, Rosemary, as Nana to Jenny's kids, have you noticed a difference between the kids who sign and those who don't sign? Yeah, Hope, hope was number four. Mm. And the difference was amazing. I think the key things were there were uh, fewer times that she became distressed, you know, mm. with the crying and getting upset, which is typically associated with, you know, around about two-year-olds. Yeah because she could initiate conversation herself. Like she was signing, her first signs were around seven months. Mm. And by the time she was 18 months, she had about 70 signs. About 70, yeah. Wow, that's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. and spontaneously she would put two signs together. So she, first time she did that, she wanted more swing. So she mm. started crying and Jennifer said, what's wrong with you? And she signed for more swing. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, yeah. that's great. Amazing. Anything that helps you communicate to find out exactly what your little youngster wants yeah, has got to be a really good thing, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've created these books to help other parents, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. I just wanted um, to share the little bit that I'd learned and empower parents to say, give it a go. Give te reo Māori a go. Give sign language a go. Share it with your children. It's 
it's really not difficult. It's just yeah. you've got to start somewhere. The more you know? people that you can communicate with, the better, I think. And the more mm. languages you can speak, or that's wonderful. Yeah. Great books too. Hey, thank, thank you both very much for joining us today. Thank Fascinating so stuff much. and really, really good advice. Uh, thank you for your time today. Thanks, Mel. Yeah. Yeah. If you would like more information about Jenny's Tadeo books, you can check out the website kiwisign.nz. A coffee group is brought to you by and mum Pedia Price 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. And congratulations to this week's winner, Trisha Keo. Your ebook is on its way. We can put your hey voice Mel, into I've it. I've got a bedtime story for you. I'm over here. And there's nothing to say you can't record your own voice in Tereo as well in there.